Hi, it's Wendy, and welcome to my studio. Uh, as an artist, I spend a great deal of time in my studio, and you can see I'm working on several paintings all at once. But as an artist, I also have to remember to clean up, and you know, things get spread out. Um, it's all pretty exciting, actually. I, I I certainly don't mind taking things out and um, looking for things that I haven't uh, put away as carefully as I would have liked. So uh, this morning, I am going to start to put some things away. And uh, it's really all in the day's work. I would be... Um, I would be holding things back if I didn't show you how every little bit of my practice is done. And these are all scrap. Goes over there. And my calendar for last week. Yes, I print out my calendar every week because I have a lot going on, um, especially since I started to connect with other artists and writers online. Which is really fabulous. I have to say, the pandemic was uh, really dreadful and it still is because you know, we still have to be careful about things however it got me motivated to do some things that I wasn't already doing and I enjoy to this day those things so there uh, one two and three. Now this one, this is where I'm going to try and do a uh, an arc of the story. I'm writing my memoirs. I figured, why not? Time, time to do that. So uh, I have my little, um, I was going to put the chapters on post-its and put them on the wall which I will do. It's just that they're not post-its. I just have these little um, printouts that I'm going to cut up, and I will be putting those on the wall. And for now, I'll be putting these on the chair. Also, I got some printer supplies and uh, I'm about to throw out some of the packaging you know packaging is something that I like to recycle but these styrofoam pieces there's another part of the packaging cardboard's not so bad let me recycle that but the styrofoam look at these you know, they come with a lot of things. Styrofoam, I'm not an advocate of styrofoam, but if you have it, um, maybe you can work with it. And um, I had a colleague at, in my studio in Miami who uh, would paint these and create some very, very interesting uh, three-dimensional flat works and also uh, sculptural works, um, which I thought was a, very interesting idea, and uh, I'm not sure if she's still doing that. But I could see that there's surfaces uh, that I could use as stamps, I think. I'm going to try it, see how that works. So there's uh, these four little dots on the bottom and a nice, quite an interesting shape on the top. I'll see how that works. I'm not so sure about this one, uh, but you can cut anything. You know, you can cut a shape out of just about anything. 
you know, as a kid, you used to do potatoes. I, I worked with potato stamps as a child. Um, and uh, I've also made stamps out of, just out of cardboard, apples, a lot of things that you can make stamps out of if, if you're working with a water base. So that's for later. And I will store them here. So now the rest is what I'm working on right now. This is a this is a nice little uh, tool, I will call it. It's carpet, you know, I think I got this at the dollar store. But if you want to, um, if you don't have one of those green boards, and they're quite expensive, uh, they're fabulous too. You know the ones where um, you cut with the X-Acto knife? Of course, if it's paper you're cutting, it's not very good to cut it on here. But if it's cardboard or something that you want to really press in and, and cut right through, um, Having one of these is helpful. You could have six of them if you want, you know, if you've got a long space to work. And um, uh, that way it doesn't cut through and onto your good carpet or onto your good table or onto your good paper underneath. Uh, it really just, just acts as a matting for some of the work that you might be doing. I'm going to put this. Might as well put it on the floor because that's where it was meant to be. And I put away my my iPad. I was looking up. Um, I was just looking things up. I seem to always be doing that. Looking up how to how to permanently delete photos from my iPhones, which I'm using uh, two, three of actually today. To do my video. So, and here I have all the wires for the iPhones because I have to also remember to charge them every night. Nothing like waking up in the morning and uh, getting excited about doing a video and you don't have any charged cameras. So, it's really a process. Um, and I resisted it for a very long time. As an artist, I just want to paint. I just want to do the fun part. And uh, throughout my career, I've certainly done everything. I've done the painting. I've done the framing. I've done the shipping. I've done the selling. I've done the. I've just done everything. You know, writing the applications and the grants and residencies, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so there's a lot, a lot to being, uh, being an artist, to doing the work that needs to be done. Right now, I'm in a very blissful place for me, and that's because I'm just doing the parts that I really love. Uh, for the moment, I'm painting, and I am sharing my journey with you. So let's get to some painting. I've been working on this series here on the back wall. And I have a, a bit more to do. But I've also been working on this series here. I, <laughs> I was uh, filling some of my paint tubes or putting a little water in to get them a little bit more uh, liquid so that I could use them more easily as I, I pour the paint into the um, onto the squeegees or even onto the brushes and uh, this was my squeegee from yesterday didn't quite clean it fast enough for the paint to not stick so but I really enjoy these. These are actually, um, you know, they're a good size up for a squeegee. Where do you get squeegees? Um, you know, because you can get 
the squeegee for printmaking. They're, they're big and they're bulky, and I don't, I haven't priced them. I, they cost something, and uh, you get the little ones for the shower, and they work. They act, they absolutely work. But I like to put paint onto the squeegee and then use that on the surface, kind of dance around with that. So um, these, I don't think I have an original. Uh, these were dust bins. These were the the pans that you use to sweep your you know your dust up so they did have a handle you know they were much larger and i got them from the dollar store which is now a dollar 25 so it's a a reasonable price for a tool uh, this is not what it was meant to do but if you take a look, you know, if they have a very nice structure. I just cut the top off. I cut the handle part. I cut the, the dust bin part off. And it works just wonderfully for me as a squeegee. So I have, I have multiples of this squeegee, this version of the squeegee. And that's what I'm going to use today. You know, I've got these I've been I've been working much lighter. I mean, I work dark, and then I I put more pastelly, lighter colors. I'm I'm going in that direction. I'm not just sure for how long. Actually, there's something nice about it. I think I will continue for another little bit. So laying on some white paint. And then a little bit of magenta. I'm just going to use. Oh. So the tip of this has um, had a film grow over it, you know, because of the dry drying of the paint. So paint film. Ooh, that's going to be slow. I'll just see if I can more. Also in the nozzle, um, the paint thickens more than in the body of the tube. Well, this will be interesting. Wondering how much of this I want to put on there. Hard to talk and paint at the same time, <laughs> but I'll get used to it. Now, this one at the end, let me just move things over here. This one at the end, I am. I am liking, I could certainly put a little something in here. Ooh, that's nice. All right, well, what about?
All right. Paint on me. And I'm going to move things around. I could continue to paint, but you know, it just gets dull if I do that. I mean, the paint gets dull, not the process. The paint. So I'm going to move things around to the other side and see if the side could use a little. Oh, I already have some of that color on this side. How interesting it would be to add a little bit more. Let's see. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I can definitely do that. Now I didn't say anything at the time, but on the other side, um, I put just one squeegee stroke onto the far painting. Not sure if you can see that, but um, it it really just made the whole thing come together. Now that happens quite a bit. I mean, yeah, well they always have to come together or I'm not finished, but um, but it happens that I think it's all come together, but really, in reality, not so much. So I have to wait and see. So that's why I turn the panels over as quickly as I do. It's kind of a wait and see that's going on. I put some things in, oh, and this is just standard for the process. They just seem to be a little more than they need to be. So let's kind of push them a little bit towards the edges. It gets harder the closer you are to the closer I am to the end because I have to really kind of look at everything. See where I want to go. Getting a lot more out than I thought I would. Well, I think uh, I think these are done, but of course I'm going to sit with them for a little bit. Uh, these not so much. Well, the two on the end, so you can see those, but I'll show them to you. So it just so happens that um, I can think I'm finished and not be. I mean, it's just not working. Or I can not think that I'm finished and it is just working. So either way, I'll know more by tomorrow or later today. So that's my morning practice for today. And uh, thank you for joining me. I'll look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Bye. So I'm so happy that you are joining me today and maybe other days too. I'll take you through my day-to-day -day as an artist. 
and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Thanks for being here. <laughs>